Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to do a chit chat get ready with me video and in this video I will be featuring only products from Walmart and I think you will be surprised to see some of the things that Walmart carries. I know I was. Um, my doggy girls are with me today so you might hear a little bit of thumping when they reposition on the floors. Uh, they, one thing about doodles, they love, love, love to be with you. Okay, so today's video is in partnership with Walmart and everything that I have in front of me is from Walmart and Walmart is celebrating, it's their here for every beauty and they are celebrating the 327 million faces of America. And here for every beauty means that they have shades for everyone, they, they have skincare for everyone, um, they have premium brands which I was totally unaware of. Again, living under the rock. <laughs> but I did put down some of the premium brands that they carry and some of them I will be using in today's Get Ready With Me. And some of those brands, just in case you didn't know my friends, are uh, Chlorane, Saint Tropez, uh, Bumble and Bumble, Clinique, Purology, uh, Smashbox, Stila, Gelan, Bioderma, Paul Mitchell, Obagi. They carry, they carry premium fragrances such as Aramis, uh, Mark Jacobs Daisy, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, Juliet Has a Gun, and that is just to name a few. And what may be surprising is that when I was online really researching to see what premium brands they carried, some of the items actually cost less than they do in other places. So you may want to get online and check out Walmart's online shopping. For the uh, Here For Every Beauty campaign, they are featuring things to get you through summer. So um, I'm gonna try to do a little summer look for you. But before I get started, I did want to show you some of the things that I purchased for summer, getting us beach ready for Lou and myself. Uh, I did need uh, some new sunscreens. I buy new sunscreens uh, every season, uh, especially if we're running low or something's been hanging around for too long. Uh, so I uh, just went and purchased a bunch. I did put one on my face already. That's why you're seeing a white cast because I do use mineral sunscreens and they do leave a little bit of a white cast, but once they soak in, they're not, they're not a problem. So I did go ahead and I picked this up and I love the size. It's humongous. It's a 12 fluid ounce. So I picked this up. It's called the Big Adventure Size and this is the Bear Republic Mineral Vanilla Cocoa Sunscreen Spray with an SPF of 50. It's water resistant for 80 minutes and it's free of the active chemicals in sunscreen. So if you are worried about the report that just recently came out, you may want to check into mineral sunscreens. And this Bear Republic, I also bought the, I like to have this in my little pouch when I'm walking the girls. Uh, in case we're out for a while, I want to be able to reapply. And I like this stick form of it. And this is also the SPF by Bear Republic and it's a mineral sunscreen stick. So that is the stick. And this is the bottle, the can. And this, spray. it will spray out white and you just rub it in. I really like the texture of this. I did try it uh, and the texture is really nice. It's lightweight, so that's nice. And on and my face today, I have something brand new from CeraVe. This here is their hydrating sunscreen, broad spectrum of 50 for the face. It's a lightweight, non-greasy feel, three essential ceramides and niacinamide. It is a mineral sunscreen. And it also says it's approved by the Eczema Association. Um, I've worn this twice so far and I've had no um, reactions to it. I am very sensitive to sunscreens and the mineral ones do work better for me. But do keep in mind that they will leave a little bit of a white cast as you can see. But once I put my makeup on, which you will see, it's not going to make a difference. Uh, I also picked up the dry shampoo in the tropical scent. And what I like these for is when I'm wearing my hair in a ponytail, I like a little bit of lift here. So I will go underneath and just give a little spritz and then puff it up. And it gives just a little volume to the top of my ponytail. So let's right. get on with my makeup application. And as I go along, I bet you are going to be surprised at some of the things you see 
that Walmart carries online. Okay, okay, so I am going to start out with the Milani eyeshadow primer. You only need a small amount of this. It does come out in a flesh tone, but it really uh, just, it goes down clear. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat that on my lids. Today's look is going to be hmm, maybe a subtle look. Maybe we'll go a little bronzy, but we'll go a little on the subtle side because I do have to go to the vet with Lula. My girl has been having some problems and um, uh, I have to take her in today. It's Friday. I have to take her in today because I'm worried about her. So uh, we will see. All right, so I have my eye primer on. So today I am going to work with the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And this is in the Warm Neutrals. This is really a nice palette and it's right up my alley. It has a lot of colors that I love. And I think I'm just going to, as I mentioned, try to do something a little on the bronzy side. So everything will be listed and linked below for you because this is a get ready. It is not going to be a tutorial, okay? I will be using all brushes from Walmart and the Real Technique, the e.l.f., some eco tools. Everything that I am using today is from Walmart. Okay, so I'm just going to dip into this color here. and we will just go from there. Uh, I wanted to share with you, there's something else that's not necessarily beauty that I got at Walmart, and I really wanted to share it with uh, you guys because I think some of you may benefit from this. And if you are a menopausal woman, you will know and understand that your body goes through so many changes and some things that happen to you uh, are all brand new, things that you've never dealt with in your life. So um, I will just tell you a little bit. I, I am going to do a video on menopause and it is going to be a very thorough menopause vi video from a patient standpoint, not a doctor standpoint, because especially if you have a male doctor, they do not know everything we go through. Okay, so I uh, have this new thing that has happened to me, and I get anxiety attacks in my sleep, okay? I've never ever had a panic attack or any kind of anxiety attack at all throughout my whole life. So this is, this is definitely all something new to me. So I had been reading about weighted blankets and um, I thought, how can they possibly work and how could I even stand having it on me? Because you all know with menopause, oh my goodness, you overheat, you're like an inferno. And um, I thought I would give it a try. This was quite a while ago that I heard about these and I thought I would give it a try. And then every time I remembered that I wanted to try it, I would go to the store and of course, uh, Walmart carries them and uh, they would be sold out. So another thing I love to go to Walmart for is my buy drinks that I make my Starbucks uh, dupe out of. Um, they are $1.99 everywhere else, and at Walmart, they are $1.58, so I like going there for that also. Uh, anyway, getting back to the blanket. So, so I would say probably about three weeks ago, I went in and picked up one of the weighted blankets, and the one I'm using, I did bring the package, is the Tranquility Weighted Blanket. It applies deep calming pressure that helps you relax to fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up well rested. It is recommended for people with conditions such as stress, anxiety, autism, ADHD, and PTSD. So, so I picked it up and I really didn't have high expectations for it at all. I just thought, how can this possibly work? But I have to tell you, my friends, I have been sleeping with it for many weeks now and I sleep so soundly and I, I sleep deeply, very deep, deeper than I ever have, sometimes so deep that I wake up really tired. But uh, the only time I'm not sleeping now is if I have some food that doesn't agree with me. But 
this blanket is worth trying. Now, the way you have to do it though is you have to pretty much get rid of all your other bedding and just no other blankets can go on you because it weighs 12 pounds. They say you should buy it according to your weight. They do come in different weights. Make sure you get a really well, the one that I got at Walmart, it uh, has glass beads in it. It's distributed evenly. And uh, I did get the dark color, the gray, because it is only spot, you can only spot clean it. You can't throw it in the washer and dryer. So keep that in mind when you're picking it up. But I'm telling you, my friends, it is worth a try because I am getting my sleep, okay? I just, I was so excited to share it with you. And um, like I said, I got it a couple weeks ago and um, I did over, I do overheat slightly in it, but I just put on the thinnest t-shirt I possibly can find or sleep naked if you can. You can. And uh, then I um, only use a sheet under it and then just that blanket. And there's something about it. I'm sleeping. And what's most amazing to me, no bad dreams, because with menopause, I'm now having terrible dreams. And uh, the panic attacks, I've had none, none. And Lou, he usually has to wake me up because I'm screaming in my sleep and I'm crying. And um, I haven't had one of those nights in a long time. And that is so refreshing and rewarding at the same time. So just wanted to mention that to you. So I, right now I'm just working with these NYX shadows. As you all know, many of you use NYX shadow. These are excellent shadows, excellent. And this palette is perfect for summer because it does have the bronze tones to it. So now I'm just gonna go in with a set and finish. I do recommend though doing your eyes first because there is a little bit of fallout when you're using a satin finish shadow. The mattes really don't have much fallout in this, but the satins have just a small amount. So I'm just putting a lighter goldy tone on the inner part of my eye, and I'm keeping this satin finish all below the crease, which is very important. And then now I'm gonna pick up, this is almost a burgundy bronze, and I'm just gonna set it on the outer part of the eye. And it is a matte shadow but I'm going to tie it in by just overlapping slightly onto the gold, which will change the color of it. And uh, it will be really pretty. It'll just have a nice flow, but I'm keeping it all on the lid. I'm not going into the crease with this and I'm just using a real technique brush. Okay. So now I'm going to pick up a kind of like a cinnamon satin finish and I'm just going to overlap here right in the center. So you get a nice smooth transition of color. Okay, so that's the look so far. I wanted to let you all know what colors I did use. This is the color I started out on my lid right here. Then I moved into this color right here and that was the inner corner of my lid. Then I put this color here on the outer corner and now I'm taking this one here and just going up the center where these two meet, okay? So that's all I have on my eye. And now I'm just gonna go back in and I'm just going to, and I did put, I'm sorry, let me also tell you this. This one here, right here is a matte. That was my crease color. So now I'm gonna go back in with the color I started with right here. And I'm just going to blend that color slightly and I'm gonna use an e.l.f. brush and I just wanna load some up on that brush and I'm just gonna soften the line above so they all blend nicely. Now I'm just going to take one of the lighter colors. We'll go with this one right here. The second one here, we're gonna go with that one and I'm just gonna put it on a small brush, real technique, and I'm just going to go up underneath my eyebrow there's a little fallout with that, so I'm just gonna come in and sweep it out with the e.l.f. brush. That's pretty much and it for the eyes until I get to the bottom. So now I do have quite a bit of fallout, and here's one thing that may surprise you that Walmart carries. You can get your Bioderma online at Walmart. This is the Bioderma Creoline H2O, 
and I also use the Bioderma Creoline Lot, which is the Milky Cleanser. These can both be ordered online at Walmart. I know, I was surprised too. And here is the Bioderma Cleansing Water, which you are all very familiar with. Several other Bioderma products. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on the cotton. Now I don't want to rub super hard with this because I do have, you know, my skincare underneath. So I'm just going to dab up whatever fell. I'm not really rubbing. My skin my treatment skin has been on for a while, so it has soaked in. But I'm just dabbing it off. And if you look, that is uh, pretty much the fallout that was underneath my eyes. So you want to make sure you clean that up so that you can get a nice clean look. So now I'm okay. going to move on to the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock. And this is a primer and this is in 130. I'm just going to squirt some of this out and this and is I'm just going to go ahead and put that over my sunscreen. So now that is the primer and I'm just going to let that, I'm going to pat that in. And I'm gonna go in again. Now you don't have to use both of them. This one here I like for the glow, but I do feel that you need a little something something as a primer, okay? So that's why I use the Locket Primer. So now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion 903. I have every color that this comes in. I just give it a nice little shake. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take a small amount on my hand. And this is just going to add a beautiful radiance to your skin. But it does have a little bit of color. I just love this. And you'll see. It's beautiful. I have been using this for years. Okay, so we are going to move on to priming my under eye. And this may surprise you because it surprised me. Walmart Online, Smashbox. And I have also been using this for a very, very long time. And what I do is I just take a little bit on my fingers Even and on both fingers. And then I go up underneath my eyes and I pat it on first. And then I'm just going to massage that down. Well, I'm not massaging it. I'm just kind of patting it in. Okay, so primer and under eye primer are both on and you can see it gives a really nice glow. It really does. Okay, so we are going to move on to our concealer and foundation and I am using the L'Oreal Infallible and I did do a review on this. If you would like to see it, I will uh, put it here or I will put it at the end where you just have to click on the video and the L'Oreal Infallible a full wear concealer. Now the concealer is just off a little bit for me as far as color, but we're gonna go with it. So we are going to just place some of this on my handy dandy mirror, about two or three pumps for now, and the color is 460 that I'm wearing today. And another thing that may surprise you, because it surprised me, I tell you, I was living under a rock, um, Beauty Blender. You can get your Beauty Blender at Walmart online, okay? And all the other things you can get in store and online, but the premium brands basically are online. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to place some of my concealer on my face. Go in with my beauty blender, just put the remaining amount on there and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start pouncing that on. Now this is going to give me a little bit more color. I did use, I used too much, so I'm just gonna swipe some of it off. And I'm gonna go up around onto the forehead and just really pounce that in. You get a beautiful, beautiful finish with this foundation. And you also, it does have a little bit of scent. You also uh, get a beautiful look when you really pounce that foundation. I love pouncing versus rolling. I do like to pounce. I'm a pouncer, my friends. And now because this is a little bit warmer, of course we want to draw it down so we don't see a whole lot of color difference. There is the foundation. It really does give a really pretty finish. So again, that was the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. You can get in store or online. All right, so let's move on to our concealer now. 
and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. However, as I mentioned, this one is a little, little too uh, light for me, but we're going to go with it anyway. I thought about using my Age Rewind, but I thought, no, I want to, I, I want to stick in the same family. So the trick to this is you want to use a small amount. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little dab there and a dab there and a dab there. Normally I would go all the way across. And then you want to take your Beauty Blender and you want to go ahead and be careful on the edge here where you've already placed your eyeshadow and just start working that concealer around the areas where you truly need it. So I'm very, very dark here. So I really push it into my skin there. And then I draw down because this is so light. I really don't want to accentuate the hollow in underneath my eye. So I place most of it in that. And then I just lightly go over the center to really even it up. Okay, so that is the concealer. You, this foundation is laying very nice over the CeraVe uh, 50 sunscreen, the mineral sunscreen. It's laying really nicely over it. Okay, so okay, now so I'm going to powder and I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie. And this is the Airspun Loose Powder. The smell of this stuff is just, it takes you back. It truly does. But this is the Translucent Extra Coverage. We're going to use just a small amount of this under my eyes. So I'm going to, I never take the thing off totally. I always leave half of it and then whatever just kind of seeps out, I will pick up with my beauty blender. So I have a very small, this smells fabulous. I know we don't like fragrance and things, but there's just something about some scents that really just take you back. All right, so I have some powder on my damp beauty blender and I want to first make sure I have no creases and I'm gonna look down so I can get right up along the edge. And then I'm gonna turn it around immediately and I'm gonna lift that powder up off the excess. So I'm not getting a cakey look underneath my eyes, okay? So that's a trick to that one. Don't really over apply, because I know many people have the Cody Airspun. Don't really over apply it. And look down, make sure you touch first. Look, it's turning into a tutorial. I can't help myself. So look down and you're gonna just tap it on and as quick as you put it on, turn it around and get it off. And just, you wanna tap, you don't want to rub. So the eyes are now set without looking cakey. Okay, so right. now I want to go in and powder my face. And this kind of really, this one really shocked me. Uh, Walmart Online carries Galon. They carry the meteorites and another item that smell this smells like violet candies if you remember violet can candies i'm going to use the meteorites because i want a beautiful glow so i'm going in with the real technique brush and what i do is i just swirl the brush around so that i can incorporate the powder into the brush fibers and then i'm going to just powder where i need and then I might do a light sweeping. Notice I'm holding the brush down and I am barely touching my skin after I have packed it on because I don't want to disturb anything. So we're going to go in and do the same thing on the other side. Really work the powder into the fibers of the brush. Give it a tap because as an aging woman, we don't want more than we need. And I'm going to go ahead and tap that along my cheek where I'm going to place powder blush. And then I want to just do a light swirl and that just brings out the beauty of this powder. Just a just slight swirl around and you bring out a glow of this. So you can place this anywhere you want. I was shocked. I was just, I was shook as they say nowadays. <laughs> so there's so many new terms now. Shook, woke, I was woke. <laughs> it's like, what is that? But anyway, it's there. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again, and I just want to touch lightly on my forehead with it and just give a nice little swirl, and just a little on my nose. I don't want my nose screaming, and then I'll do just a little on my chin. Okay, so I am all set now. You don't wanna bring this up by your eyes. You will accentuate, accentuate your wrinkles. Now we're gonna go okay. in with our bronzer, and I'm gonna use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush. I'm gonna go in, and I'm just going to swirl this around and load up. Now this color is very neutral. That's why I like it. I'm gonna tap off any excess, and I'm gonna go in, and I'm just going to lightly 
add my bronzer. And this has a beautiful satin finish, but there is no glitter in this, my friends. I don't know if they make one with glitter, but there are, there's no glitter in this one. So I'm going to do the same thing and continue to the other side. There, bronzer is done. Just swept it up on my forehead a little bit and my cheeks. Okay, so I'm going to go into the flower brands now. And I am going to use this blush, which is Flower Pots Powder Blush in Peach Primrose, a really pretty peach. I'm gonna use a loose brush for this, it's a real technique. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of that blush. And again, this color, it, it's very um, pigmented. So I'm going to tap some of it off, work it into the fibers of the brush, tap it off. And now I'm going to go ahead and just place this blush right on my cheekbone. And you'll see it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. And it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, so that's the flower blush. Okay, so I'm going to be using the flower pencil and this is bronzed out. Okay, so I went ahead and tight lined with that. So now I am going to go ahead and do my brows. And I thought I would give these a try. These are the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil and I bought soft brown and ash brown. I think I'm gonna go in with the soft brown and it does have one of those, um, it's more of a, it's not a pointed, it's more of the square rectangle. So I'm gonna so go I'm ahead and do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done with the pencil. So now we're gonna move on to my tinted gel for my brows because you know I have those stubborn white ones. And I thought I would try the Brow Star Stylist by L'Oreal. It's the Boost and Set. It's a voluminous brow mascara. And I can't read the color I got, but it's probably a light brown or something like that. But I wanna go in and just see how it works because you know I have, it's a little darker than I'm used to, but it is covering the whites. And that's all that's really important is that it covers the white. And you can also sweep the brows up, which help to make the eyes look a little more youthful. So yeah, it did work. It covered the whites, all right? Okay, I don't know how long it'll last or if it'll keep these wicked brows in shape because my brows are all over the place. <laughs> okay, all so right, I'm so just going to finish the eyes real quick. So what I'm gonna do is take the NYX, I'm gonna go in with the color that I started and maybe a little bit of this um, reddish color. And I'm just gonna take a Real Technique, really small brush, pick that up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go underneath my eyes here. So. Okay, so that's it for that. Now, now I go in with this Maybelline Lasting Drama, and this is a, lit, a liner, and it's called Starlight Gold, and I thought it would be kind of neat to try with a little bronze look, so I'm just going to do my waterline with this, and it will brighten up your eye if you're wearing like a darker bronze. So this pencil is kind of a nice little thing. You can see the difference it really just opens the eye up and brightens it. And sometimes you need that when you're wearing a deep set eye. So yeah, just a little touch of the shimmer gold in there. Not, it doesn't have glitter, but it does have a satin finish to it, which is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera and do my mascara, but I'm using the Voluminous Lash Paradise uh, Base, which is fabulous, you know I love it, and then the uh, Mascara, so I will be right back and the mascara is the voluminous lash paradise that goes with it And I have it in black, so I'll be right back Okay, I curled my lashes with the Revlon lash curler and the mascara was the lash paradise with the primer uh, and We're gonna move on to our lips now and then I'm gonna let y'all get out of here so you can go online and shop at Walmart <laughs> Okay for okay. lips. I'm going to be using Revlon super lustrous lipstick in 628 peach me one of my most favorite and we are going to be using the Flower Lip Liner in Toffee. So we are gonna go ahead and line our lips. And when I line my lips, I just line the edge. I do not outer line, okay? So we are just going to go ahead. Okay, lips are lined, and I did fill in just slightly to give me more of a pout look. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply my most favorite Revlon colored lipstick. I love Peach Me. Okay, peach so that is the lip alone. Now, for those of you who like a little bit of gloss, you can go with the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in Nude Shimmer. This is one of my favorite colors 
in it. I have a few of these, but I really do like this I one. Now do I do take the excess off the tip because it does come out with a lot. And then I just go ahead and tap in the center and touch them together and it just leaves a beautiful glow on your lips. If you'd like to apply more, then of course you go and apply more. So we need to finish up and with this just is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And what I do is I'm going to take my little wand because I don't want it hitting my earrings and I don't want it hitting my hair. And I want to spritz this side, move it, spritz, move it, and spritz. And then you can go ahead and fan yourself with this or you can get your handy dandy little fan. Finish okay, up. so that's it. That's my Walmart get ready with me chit chat, although it kind of turned into a little bit of a tutorial as they always do. But uh, I really like this campaign that is, it's, it's inclusive of everyone. Be sure to check out Walmart in store and online for premium brands, sun care products, makeup and skincare products. They, they have shades to cover everyone and, and they, they have skincare to cover everyone. I think this look is fabulous and it would rival any $300 makeup look. Absolutely, my friends. So let me know if you are a regular shopper of Walmart online. Did you know about all these? And if you did, why did you not share it with me? I share everything with you. Why did you not share it with me? All right, my friends, I'm going to let you go. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you are made aware of all my videos. Go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.